It is a practice, not a performance to express yourself. To show up in the embodiment and the confidence and the integrity and conviction of who you are is a practice. For many of us, we understand this logically. We understand this as a concept, but we really struggle to actually actualize that and show up into spaces and places in the embodiment of who we are. For many of us, we've become very well resourced in going into a space, especially if you're, you know, energetically the type of person who can just absorb energy and read a room really quickly, which I believe most of us are. We're very good at shape-shifting. We are the ultimate chameleons. We walk into a space and we're like, without even knowing we're doing it, we're asking how much of myself can I be here? Who do I need to become to feel safe? What does somebody need of me in this moment, right? And so to actually stand in the integrity of who we are becomes a practice. And it's been a very confusing concept. I'm going to be very honest with you. It's been a confusing concept for me to find that line between being in integrity, embodiment, authenticity, and conviction of who I am, but also knowing that a large part of my service and my skill set is being able to come into a space and read the room and know exactly what somebody needs of me. <laughs> that is also my most powerful offering, right? So there's a fine line between who am I, where? And that's why I think we bother with social media because social media can be the place that we give ourselves full permission to be in the most audacious expression of who we are, irrespective of anybody else. In this place and space, it gets to be about you for the benefit of others, but for you, as you. A lot of the work that we do, and I think this is where we kind of get a little bit energetically ooh, scattered, is about how well can I receive the person in front of me? How well can I be attuned to them? What parts of me do I pull out skillfully for them? And so then when we come to go online, we're like, who am I again? I'm the person that can do that. Yeah, amazing. But what do I do with that knowledge? How do I communicate? What, what do I actually have to say? So social media, who we show up as, what we say becomes a practice. The practice of actually calling all of your energy back to yourself, being where your feet are, breathing deep into your belly, remembering that you are a whole, fully formed human being and asking, what do I represent? What do I have to say? What do I have to share? Irrespective of anybody else. And that's a practice. We're not practiced at that. We're not. I mentioned before, I mentioned the schooling system a lot. I was a teacher for 10 years in, in public education. So I have seen a lot of the ways where even when we're asked to communicate our knowledge, our understanding, it has been the replication of something that we have been told or shown. How well we can comprehend something has meant how well can I regurgitate or recycle the information as it's been given to me. Many of us don't have a practice of actually authentically sharing Never mind what we think or believe, but what's real for us in the moment. I'm going to talk about that a little more. <laughs>